thousands of holidaymakers have been plunged into travel chaos as more than 140 flights are cancelled, while the mini beast from the east batters Britain. More than 10,000 frustrated travelers were left stranded after 146 services were cancelled in and out of Heathrow Airport due to the wintry weather this morning. British Airways customers have been those mainly affected after the airline stopped 64 short-haul flights and trips to the US. While Aer Lingus was forced to cancel trips to Belfast and Dublin and Lufthansa halted departures to Frankfurt and Munich. Air France, KLM, Swiss and TAP Portugal have also cancelled services out of Heathrow. BA told passengers, we have merged a small number of flights traveling to or from Heathrow Airport. During cold weather conditions, aircraft have to be de-iced prior to departure to ensure that they are safe and additional measures are taken to ensure the safety of our operation is maintained at all times. Britons have been told to stay off the roads in some parts of the country with up to 12 inches of snow predicted to fall and temperatures dropping to a dangerously cold 8th sea. Gale force winds are also expected to batter Britain with speeds reaching up to 70 miles per hour. Forecasters have kept weather warnings in place in northwest England, Yorkshire, the Midlands, London and southeast England as the second wave of Siberian weather hits. Conditions are so treacherous in Cheshire that police have told drivers not to take certain roads across the Pennines because they will not be able to save them. On Twitter the force warned there is currently no route to safely cross the Pennines into Cheshire. The A54, A537, Cat and Fiddle, and B5470 are all closed impassable. Do not attempt it because we can't get close enough to rescue you. At Polisimic. Meanwhile, snow plows have been sent out to the M62 after the poor weather brought motorists to a standstill. While those catching flights have been left stranded, people using Britain's railways have also been told to prepare for the worst. National Rail has warned of possible changes to services run by Arriva Trains Wales, Cross Country, East Midlands Trains, Gatwick Express, Great Northern, Great Western Railway, Heathrow Connect, Heathrow Express, Hull Trains, Island Line, Northern, South Western Railway, Southern, Thameslink and the Transpennine Express. Virgin Trains has also warned of disruption to some services due to damaged overhead wires. Sarah Kent, a meteorologist for Met Office, said conditions should generally improve by tomorrow by drivers, should still take care on the roads. The kind of thing that we're seeing is that the snow that has fallen is likely to stick on the ground because we're not going to be getting temperatures above freezing this evening, she explained. Due to the strong winds, the roads that have been cleared may be suffering from snow being blown back across them, so that is a real hazard for motorists. Temperatures will generally increase tomorrow, we might see perhaps snow for one or two hours over the Pennines, but we're really keeping our eyes on the south of England. There's going to be some sleet and snow coming down the English Channel, but it may be mostly offshore. It could touch parts of Dorset and Devon. Snow showers are expected to dampen by mid-afternoon, with some possible spells of sunshine. Richard Leonard, Highways England's head of road safety, said gritter drivers would be working hard to ensure motorists can still get to work on Monday. Our gritter drivers will be out treating our roads around the clock, but it is still important to drive to the conditions when snow is forecast, he said. 
make sure you keep your distance and reduce your speed if you need to travel because, even in conditions that seem normal and when the snow is not settling, it can be slippery if ice patches have formed or where fresh salt has not been worked into the carriageway. Drivers should plan their journeys, monitor weather reports and pack of snow kit of blankets, food, water and a shovel if they really need to travel. St. Patrick's Day revelers were told to stay indoors as the big freeze took its toll on the UK this weekend. But many ignored the warnings with clubbers seen huddling up against the wintry conditions in Leeds and Bradford. But while dancers and drinkers enjoyed themselves experts warned of a risk to life for kids, the sick, and the elderly who may struggle to cope in the Arctic conditions. Yesterday Alton Towers closed all of its roller orchestras for safety reasons, even though the pound 16 million wicker man ride was set to unveiled. Public Health England issued an alert, saying it may come as a shock to the system for some whose bodies may struggle to cope in cold weather. It's worth remembering that cold temperatures, indoors and outdoors can affect health particularly in young children, older people and those with heart and lung conditions. Met Office Chief Meteorologist Laura Patterson said, snow showers will become increasingly likely across eastern, central and southern England on Saturday, and then there is the potential for some significant snowfall in places by Sunday, particularly in the south of England. We pay for your stories. Do you have a story for the Sun online news team? Email us at tips at the sun.